full time Arsenal 2 Basel 0 that in itself uh, is a surprise because Arsenal were brilliant tonight I don't know if it's possible to thrash a team 2-0 that's exactly what we did and I I was so incredibly proud of this performance for the first time in ages I, I, I can't think of a time where we've played more exhilarating football it's not just about the speed at which we attacked but it's about the, the intricacy the accuracy the pace of the passing the pace of the running arguably the only thing missing was some of the finishing I mean Alexis Sanchez had an extraordinary game should have ended with uh, you know a few goals to his name but couldn't quite the Basel goalkeeper was very good to his credit. I think one of the big stories coming out of this match is going to be Theo Walcott, of course. Another two goals for him. And he looks like a player absolutely transformed. I mean, the fact that he scored with a header to open uh, his account, only the second header of his senior career, is quite extraordinary. But then, you know, th that's the way things are going for him at the moment. That was a brilliant goal. Cazorla's pass over the top. Alexis with a lovely lofted left foot cross. And Cazorla, uh, Walcott, sorry, running between the defenders to nod past the keeper. And he added a second, which was, a, uh, I suppose, what you'd call a classic Walcott finish, really. One we haven't seen for some time because he's been playing primarily through the centre. But when he plays on the right, he can be so dangerous in that channel between centre-half and full-back. Got there in a lovely diagonal finish into the far corner. Um, but the change around in him has been incredibly dramatic. I mean, I, I spoke on the Arscast about how uh, he's made already more tackles this season than he did in the entirety of last season. I think he's always had that kind of attacking threat. If it did dip off last season, what he's added is uh, that intensity to his game. Perhaps he's learning from Alexis alongside him, who was brilliant tonight and I think is answering so many of the doubts about his capacity to flourish as the centre-forward in this team. Lots of other good individual performances. Ozil, of course, is finishing sadly a rye too. A woe be, I thought great, Cazorla, the fullbacks, Hector Bellerin particularly, uh, Mustafi Koscielny, good at the back, Espina made a good save on one occasion. Um, but it's really about the team, the quality of the team, the, the quality of the performance, the fact that we, we are finding our feet, we are clicking into gear. Um, and when you look at this season now, I think our perception of it was so coloured by that opening day defeat. But now the results, if you take that out and isolate it, the results generally look very, very good indeed. We saw a strong team tonight, I think, because having drawn in Paris, Arsene Wenger senses an opportunity to go on and win this Champions League group. I think he'll, he'll do all he can to do that, to try and ensure we get a better draw in the next round. Um, and if we play like tonight, we can do it. We go to Burnley this weekend. That's another winnable match. Let's hope. Let's hope we can continue our good form in the league. But, you know, I'm very keen, I must say, of coming out of the blocks flying uh, the way we have in recent weeks, getting games won early, being able to take off the likes of Walcott, you know, afford them a rest. That's very valuable too. It feels like last season we were often locked at stalemate, waiting for a breakthrough. This season we're taking the initiative, making the early running and getting the early goals. Um, and plenty of them. So, really positive tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Cheers.